The diagnosis of schizophrenia is provisionally based on the person's history and also the reported symptoms that they describe, but also informants in their family or other significant others. But then alternative causes have to be evaluated and ruled out, such as immunologic reactions, drug abuse, and seizures. In addition, it's important to know if there's a family history of mental illness, family histories, genealogies, and now we can perform whole genome sequencing. This doesn't prove the diagnosis, but it adds important information in supporting the diagnosis, and particularly of genetic causes. I routinely also obtain an MRI to examine brain structure. And with this information, I can make an informed diagnosis and plan the appropriate treatment program. Making this diagnosis is critical, not just to inform treatment, because labeling someone with schizophrenia, the most, most notorious of all mental illnesses, could mean stigmatizing them for the rest of their lives.